One last one. One last video on the whole Shaquille O'Neal experience. So this video is really gonna be a dedication to the guys and the tribe that created this, as well as Brian Helfrich, who is Aquascape's top designer, and he's gonna actually go through the entire Shaquille O'Neal build with his favorite aspects. But first, I really wanted to say thank you to all of the certified Aquascape contractors, artists of the year, who came out and created this true masterpiece. Every one of them volunteered their time. It was an invite only. There was a lot of people that wanted to be part of this, but we knew we had a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time, and we really wanted true professionals out there to do it that were the best in the business, and you can't get better than the artists of the year. Every one of these guys that came there volunteered their time, but they're all craftsmen. They all have their own unique skill sets. Each water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation, but the process to build it remains the same. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. It is the last day out here at the shack build and we are officially done. Everything is running, watering plants, rinsing off some rocks. There's the pond guy behind me, just getting some finished touches, that last 10%. We just finished cleaning the tree house, done by tree house masters behind me. You know, wash the floors and everything. You can imagine how filthy that thing was with 25 plus people here and rain every single day. So that took some work. I wanted to take this time and just kind of go through my favorite parts of the whole project and seeing that I'm down here at the very end of it, we'll start with the intake bay. So what's amazing to me is the current that comes in through here. Our weir height was set about eight inches lower than our water level in here. So we have eight inches of water ripping through here, all fed by four nine PLs, giving us a total of probably close to 21,000 gallons of water per hour. The pump vaults are right under there. They're kind of a mossy bank over on the back there just to keep it natural looking as possible. Greg and Dan even came up with a creative way to hide shack size electric. So all of our electrics are under there, which stands pretty tall. So we just, Greg had the great idea to just cut one in half and stack them on top of each other. So we had these stumps brought, worked out perfect for hiding a very tall electric box. As we move through here, I would say my second favorite part, actually I'm not gonna even count what's my second or third, I'll just keep saying the different parts I like, but obviously the fire pit. I kind of remember arguing with this man right here about where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to put it kind of in the center of the patio where everybody could sit around it, but with the scale of that fire pit and the way it comes right into the pond, it's just something we've never done before. Greg, in fact, last night didn't say if he was gonna do it, it's just a matter of when yeah, he's when gonna I do it. when I get my new house, I'm <laughs> replicating this yeah, there. it's super, it's awesome. So I'll kind of come over here, give you a different look at that. So not only does that fire pit go down to the bottom of our three feet deep pond, but then we have these walls that kind of flank either side. It takes a lot of time to do that. Um, a lot of precision cuts to make it look great. Right. You can see how the boulders, you know, where the wall has been cut around the boulders to make it look like the pond was here forever, but uh, adds a whole another level of expertise and uniqueness to this awesome project. As we move around this way, we've got our sand beach, which is really probably more inspired. Hey guys. Hey. Huh. Nice. <laughs> By another artist of the year that couldn't make it, the only artist of the year that wasn't here, Patrick Hanley. Really cool sand beach. Got a lot of rock and stuff down in there to keep it from eroding, but just kind of a neat entrance. Uh, a lot different than what we normally do. There's jets everywhere. You can see this jet here. There's two jets in this wall, one in that wall, two jets over there, and one on the bottom of the pond. Now let's move up to the waterfalls because it's incredible. So this is the flow of three nine PLs. Estimated at maybe just a touch over 15,000 gallons of water per hour coming up through here. Love this rock. The way the rock kind of sweeps down. All that water just rips right over the side of this rock here, then comes down into here. And so then just taking advantage of the natural shape of that rock made a really cool waterfall. And then the way the water just kind of twists and does this S turn in through here is fantastic. The other thing I love in this area here is Bernie's Bridge. The famous Bernie. I'm not a big fan of arched bridges, but when you can make it look like that, and it's just so sleek, right? The profile of it doesn't obstruct the view of the waterfall behind it. Using that tubular steel really makes that possible. That bridge is six foot, eight inches long, four feet wide. But look at how it doesn't obstruct the waterfall behind it. It's just like a pencil running through there. Come back up through here. And what I like about this waterfall, and you guys know like every pond has its unique things, but what's awesome about this one is really pay attention to the sound. Taking that 9,000 gallon or 15,000 gallons of water per hour 
and funneling it down between a two foot wide little fall here. Just looks amazing and the sound is incredible. This is a really deep, thick sound. In fact, look at how thick this water is. About halfway up my hand. Really cool. Just behind it, we went a lot wider. Love that waterfall because it's different than these. So we go from really wide to narrow to narrow again back up in there. And it really just kind of enhances the waterfall, making it look more natural. So that waterfall there is a good seven feet wide. We move up through the stream. Just past this part here is our wetland filter. So just below this waterfall, it goes down about three and a half feet deep. And this whole thing, there's the snorkel vault over there this whole thing from here to here to back into there is all our wetland filter which is going to keep this pond spotless really cool fall taking advantage again of the natural contours of the rock we got a natural high spot in this rock within a low spot so instead of just getting the sheet fall it kind of bounces off of this one and then comes in this way a really cool look i think the other nice thing is stone from semco has just a lot of character to it so we can do a lot of cool different things with the waterfalls and then of course one of the best parts the stack slate piers which everybody's seen before but not put in a way like this joey did an incredible job getting that superman logo in there so as he comes up the driveway every day he comes up the driveway this is what he sees and then at night this thing just looks absolutely amazing so we did white lights throughout but did the colored lights up in here and uh, the colored lights back behind that Superman symbol looks amazing. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed this. You know, make sure you tell me what your favorite part is. It's impossible for me to decide. There's no way for me to pick just one. There's just so many cool things going on throughout the entire project. I do know this for certain. There's no way this would have been pulled off without uh, the team that came together to do this. Worked through some pretty difficult times out here, rainy, but the spirits were always high. You know, everybody was just like, yeah, let's get it done, and we did. And so in four days, this is what it looks like. Hopefully Shaq loves it. I know we love building it. And uh, shout out to everybody that was part of this. You guys rocked it. The reason that we have a certified OxyCatter program is so that we can control the quality of the end product. This is not just has to say Mrs. Jones's Ponds. It's got to say the company that built it and then of course Aquascape. So Aquascape can stand behind these things. So if you're interested in becoming a certified Aquascape contractor, please check out the link because we're always looking for more people that want to enter this industry. And if you want a job, the certified Aquascape contractors are always hiring passionate people. We hire for attitude, we train for aptitude. Check out the link to the job boards of certified Aquascape contractors who are hiring where you live. All over the world, we have certified contractors in Australia, we have certified contractors in England, we have certified contractors in Canada, North America, Mexico. So any place that you live, hopefully there's a certified Aquascape contractor that are looking to get someone in. And if you're a contractor that's interested in water features, Aquascape has an entire operations manual online training program. We're gonna put a link to that below so that you can actually learn how to be successful in this industry. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer that has enjoyed the Shaquille O'Neal series, we have a contest for you. Send in your pictures, we'll put a link below. Send in your pictures and if 300 word description of how you live the aquascape lifestyle and how you built it for yourself and i just might come out there with a check for twenty five hundred dollars and my vlog camera to cover you on greg Woodstock the pond guy enter below you know i have a lot of pride in my business and it really comes from the people my teammates that i get to work with every day and the tribe that we've created at aquascape the people are here for each other so many of these guys are used to traveling and working on other cool and unique projects whenever there's a unique project the certified oxy kind of tribe puts it out there on our message board and they have a lot of people that will travel near and far to come and help them with it. This is what this is all about to me. Shaquille O'Neal was a great teammate and he learned a lot about being on teams. I've created the team at Aquascape over 29 years that I'm most proud of. And I'm most proud of with Aquascape is the people that work here and also the people that we service and supply. So if you're interested in joining our team, whether as a teammate at Aquascape, a teammate with one of our certified Aquascape contractors, or becoming a certified Aquascape contractor yourself, please check out the links below because Aquascape needs more passionate people that want careers building water features. And please check out Greg Whitstock, the pond guy on YouTube, because that's where the final shack version is. Check out Ed Ballou, the pond professor, who has an incredible amount of wisdom, and he also shared his version of the shack. And also check out Aquascape Ponds, which is the how-tos, the functions of these things. When we get to build a profile pond like this, more people are gonna get exposed to ponds done right, customer serve right, which is the mantra of the certified Aquascape Contractor program. All year long, every Tuesdays and Thursdays on this channel, Team Aquascape, you're gonna see how we actually build ponds. We're the only manufacturer in the world of water feature equipment that actually builds water water features every single day. This all started from my hobby as a turtle lover, and now today it's the world's largest decorative water feature installation company, and we'd love for you to be part of our team. I hope you enjoyed these shack videos because they're a lot of fun. I love 
my job. <laughs>